In this video, I will show the difference between break, continue, and pass when dealing with loops. All right, so let's get started. So if you look at this, uh, this code right here, for i in the range of 100, print i. If i is greater than 5, we will break, or else uh, we'll print come here. Okay, let's look at the flow of this, uh, these loops. For i in range of 100, print i. So the first thing we're going to do is print i. Then the next line we look at is if i is greater than 5, we will break. So what this breaks essentially does, it breaks out of the outer loop, the nearest outer loop. So say we had while true for i in range of 100, it would break out of the for i in range of 100 and not the while true uh, loop. But if this condition isn't satisfied, we will print hello and then we'll go to the next line, print come here. So it's important to realize this, that if the break condition is not satisfied, we will hit this else statement and then we'll continue on and hit the print please come here portion. So I'm going to run this to just show exactly what I mean. Okay, so let's go to the beginning of this loop and see exactly what's going on. Ah, sorry, I forgot to actually initiate i. i is actually zero. So let me do that one, one more time. So yeah, so I just ran this loop. So let's go back to the beginning and see what the output is. Okay, so for i in range 100, print i. So i starts off with zero, so it's zero. If i is I was greater than 5, we break, but this doesn't satisfy the conditions. We, we go straight to the else statement, hello, and then we print, we break out of this if else statement and we print, please come here. Okay, so this should continue until i is 6, because if, if i is greater than 5, this will, it will cause this break statement to activate. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So once we hit 6, this break statement gets activated and we completely break out of this loop. So we break out of this loop and the loop, the loop has ended. So now I'm going to show you what happens with continue. So essentially continue doesn't break out of the loop. Continue is just a, sort of a misnomer. It doesn't continue the loop. What it does, it goes back to the beginning of the loop. What you're going to see is something specific to the continue loop is that instead of continuing the loop and printing out this print statement, what it does is it actually goes back to the beginning of the loop. So if this statement gets hit, it does not continue going down, it instead just continues to the beginning of the loop. So that's a key, this is a key distinction that, that you should be aware of when using the continue loop. So I'm going to run this now, and we're going to look at the output. F9, okay. So let's go to the beginning, and we're going to see exactly what happened. Okay. So when we run the for i in range, the first thing was going, we're going to do is print the i, so which is zero. Then if i is greater than five, we'll continue, else we'll print hello. So that makes sense, we print hello. And then we break out of this uh, if else loop and we uh, will print please come here i'm lonely so this will continue until i is greater than five so let's see what happens when i is greater than five which is six so what happens here now once i is six when it continues the continue will bring this back to the beginning of the loop so we don't actually get to print out the statement which is not part of this if, if else statement so we actually skip this part and just go back to the beginning of the the for loop so as you can see, we do this all the way until this for loop is completed. So anytime this is activated, we go back to the beginning of the loop. So this will be activated again, we go back to the beginning of the loop. This will be activated again, we'll go back to the beginning of the loop. And we do this all the way until uh, uh, 99, which is the range uh, 100. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what pass does. So we're going to run this code, and we're going to see exactly what happens with pass. Ah. Let me explain what pass does first. So for i in range 100, print i, if i is greater than 5, if this gets activated, we pass. Pass is essentially do nothing, so it's just going to move forward. So if we say pass, this doesn't get activated because the if statement got activated, and we will hit this print statement, please come here. So essentially once 5 is activated, once this uh, if statement greater than 5 is activated, pass is just sort of a... Uh, do nothing. It's a, it's a filler, filler command. It's just saying do nothing, continue on. So the difference between pass and continue is that continue brings us back to, forces us back to the, the beginning of the loop, while pass just uh, is a filler and doesn't really do anything. So we just continue on and this statement will get printed. So now let's look at the outcome. So we will print zero and we're printing hello because it's, it's part of the else statement. This is not getting activated. If i is greater than five is not getting activated, so we'll print it. the else statement until uh, the if i gets uh, activated, which is at six. So once six gets activated, um, we're gonna we're going to stop printing this hello statement, and we're going to do nothing. We're just gonna pass. So once we pass, all we're going to all we're going to do is print out this one state uh, this i statement, and print out the please come here. 
So let's take a look. I gets to six, or we, all we're doing is printing out six and please come here. And then seven, please come here. So we're just going through the range and printing out I and printing out this statement because this is statement just saying, uh, please do nothing, just continue, continue. So the only two statements that are getting activated are the print I and please come here. All the way until the, the I in uh, range 100 gets completed. So, so hopefully this gives you an idea what the differences are between break, a continue, and pass. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time.